Jeremy as Cook here, and today I'll be making a variable capacitor. Now it's true that you can just buy a capacitor for a few, a few cents, like this 47 microfarad capacitor here, you can see me testing out. It actually only <laughs> holds about 44, but that's close enough. But what I wanted to make here was actually a variable capacitor. And the good thing is that the capacitors are actually fairly simple to make in concept. In fact, I made a simple one here that's just, just two, two buttons, two little buttons. You can see here, it, it produces something around almost 20 picofarads of capacitance, but when it's not quite aligned with each other, it's quite a bit less because it's due to service area and the distance between the two plates. Also the insulating dielectric that's separating them, but that's, that's something that's pretty much a constant. So there I am, I decided to make this out of some washers along with a 3D printed base. You can see kind of the base basics here. The washers will be cut up so that when the plates are aligned, they'll be more capacitance, and when they're rolled up, they'll be less. There I am printing everything out there along with one of the spacers. And then I cut up the washers. So the bottom washers, the two inch diameter washers can fit into the base. While the top washers here get cut out and they can be aligned with, with the bottom ones or not aligned depending on how much capacitance you'd like. Everything right here is attached together with these little wires. Everything made nice, nice connections there hammered it down and then I had one side of the capacitor. On the other side I attached everything through this quarter 20 bolt using the spacers there that I printed out and everything's going on nicely except for that piece needed a, some some pliers to hold it in place while I screwed it in and then I had to lock everything down with the opposing pliers. After that, I bolted another wire down to act as the other electrode. Probably should have used actual wrenches here, but you know, use what you have, I guess. So with that done, it was time to test it out. You can see it here with the, everything unaligned, it was under 10 picofarads. And then with it aligned, it was, you know, 13 or so. And then with it half aligned around 11. You can see it here, it's a pretty pretty pleasing motion. And if you needed more, you could just add more leaves to this or, or make them closer to each other. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, or even leave me a comment. Oh, and one more little clip. I thought I'd show this. I To begin with, I actually made the, the base a little bit too thin. This was made everything hard to screw in. So I, I guess the the lesson here is make sure to leave enough space for assembly. So thanks for watching. This is Jeremy S. Cook signing off.